I went to a wonderful math workshop this weekend by Barbara Novelli, and she had something that I believe she called a pattern holder. I'm calling it a pattern pull. And she just had strips with patterns on them that she would pull through this pattern holder. And she would just ask the kids what they thought would come next in the pattern. And she had a bunch of different strips that went in the pattern pull that she could reuse from year to year. But I don't want to go to the, the effort to make a bunch of different whole strips that can't be changed. So I decided to take the lazy way and I went down to my local dollar store and I bought myself a package of wall borders and I just took the wall borders and I cut them up. So I cut the wall borders apart to make small um, inserts to go into a pocket that I made for my pieces. So I can take my pieces now and I can create my own patterns and again I can do this any way I want so they can be reusable. So I can make for example an AB pattern, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. This pocket is just made of sheet protectors that I cut up to make strips that would hold them in a little pocket. So I can just put my pattern in here, whatever the pattern might be, and then all I have to do is grab my pattern pull, stick it into the pull itself, then at the other end I would just slowly reveal shapes and asking kids to make predictions about what shape might come next. So for example on this one I could reveal a circle and ask them if that's enough information to figure out what might come next and they'd want to know some more so I might show them a triangle and ask them if they had any predictions so maybe they would guess yet another shape or maybe they'd say another circle or another triangle so I'd show them another shape okay and I just keep pulling them out one by one as the kids continue to make predictions about what might be next in the pattern but the nice thing about this then is you could use it for anything I cut up some uh, just little note cards into little pieces they could easily slide in here you could put stickers on the note cards to make patterns you could take pictures of your class and do some boy girl boy girl patterns or long hair short hair whatever you wanted to do so it's a great way to share patterns with your kids thank you for watching and talk to you later bye